All right, lads, we're going to get into this now. To preface this, these are accusations aimed at the winner of the evasion north american solos so this guy made a video breaking down every like part of the uh, competition i guess where he thought this dude was cheating yeah so mandini is the name of the guy who is being uh, accused in this video he is the na solo winner and what we're going to do is we're going to go through this video uploaded by this guy called Nem nemonas 20 it was the guy uh, providing the accusations and the guy who made the video. Now, lads, I'm going to preface this, right? First off, okay? I don't want anybody going over to this dude's stream or this dude's fucking YouTube channel and leaving shitty comments or whatever. Like, just don't do it. That's not what we're here for, okay? We're just going to watch it. We're going to react to it. We're going to give our opinions on it. And then we're going to leave it at that. We don't need to go spreading any more, you know, hate or bullshit off this. We're literally just going to be watching it. And that's that. I'm also talking about spreading hate to Mandini. If you guys do think he's cheating, I highly fucking doubt he is. Uh, because the guys at Evasion, trust me when I say this, absolutely watched back the VOD, watched back his whole POV. And if the people at Evasion thought he was cheating, the prize money wouldn't have been given to him. Okay? And, you know, we're going to watch it today and see if there's any truth behind anything that this dude is saying. Uh, objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Objection uh, to my own question. So let's get into the meat and potatoes, guys. Let's have a watch. We're going to try to understand why he did what he did. In my opinion, it's pretty obvious. People I discussed, most of them agree that he's cheating, but it's easy to tell for, like, um, we can't do decisions, let's say. For one, I don't know who Mandini is, okay? But if he won the evasion NA finals, what people need to understand about evasion is like people don't just win tournaments and then get sent the money. Like if you win the tournament, they're going to review the whole VOD. They're going to do an investigation. They're going to make sure people aren't cheating in their tournaments and then give out the money. All right, here we go. This is a uh, this is the lighthouse area next to the um, next to the market. Market is on the right. Uh, there's a, in the front is a row camp. Uh, this guy's coming from a uh, from deep lighthouse, and he haven't checked any single corner. He's just going straight. There is no fight on the left. I just want to mention that there is no fight on the left. We we watched his vod like five hundred times. There was no fight on the left. He couldn't hear it, you know, unless he had inside info. Let's say somebody wrote it to Discord, or he's using something, you know. So yeah, he sees the scav. He acts surprised. He might be. And look at what is he doing. Like, why you turned here if you don't know that somebody's there? It's just... Okay. Why is he turning there? Oh, maybe because there's like three spawns over there. Marin is there. Sniper Hill looks down at it. The scab was facing that direction. So if he knows that the guy is somewhere over there... Um, but he don't. Like, how, how, how could he know? You know, there is no shouting. There is no shooting. Sorry. So, yeah, he throws a nade. Like, it's casual bait, right? You know the guy is somewhere, you throw a nade the other side. He 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 leaves his position to watch where a nade exploded, right? Because maybe somebody's strong to someone. But look how he sees the guy through the fucking keyhole, you know? Like, and he says, not, it's not happening, right? Yeah, you know? And he kills it. And watch at this point. He goes straight to loot him. Without checking any other brush, you know, he's gonna stop here and gonna watch a roll around, but like... Oh, hey, jeez, do I know somebody who does this every time when they're playing EFT? Who who does this? They get a kill, they run straight towards the body and then rely on their reflexes to just kill somebody who shows up in front of them. Like... Are you inspecting, like, area like this? Not going through the fence or something? He's just go straight, like... I know that nobody's watching, you know, like... So this was a video from like uh day before finals like okay so far absolutely nothing sus about this the scav was literally looking to the other side of the street somebody in chat said apparently they heard a footstep my hearing isn't so great i didn't hear that so far i'm not i'm not seeing anything he spawned it's fine he uses painkillers so you know that there's a few spawns on the right right so he decides to go on a hill just to, to just to be safe you know I'm pulling it, chat. I'm pulling it. He goes to the corner and sits here for, I don't know, five minutes. Oh, no, less. At this point, he sees a guy here, which is which is kind of crazy, you know? 
Like, I don't know what this what this KD is, but look, he's just watching here. He's ADSing. This is normal. And you can see, I think one pixel moves here. You see the pixel moved here, I think. Yeah, you saw the pixel moving. Like, when you're looking at something in Tarkov, and it's the same for any other video game, if you're looking at something for long enough, you're sitting here and you're watching an angle, like, if you see anything moving, you're going to notice it. This happens to me all the time. So, he's aiming. But I just want to mention that this guy is not something like Shroud or Landmark, you know? Like, in all other areas, I haven't seen him fighting in close quarter. He's just, like, peeking people who's not ready, you know? Like, who's moving, who's rotating. And, yeah, this is this is crazy. So what you're saying is the guy understands where his strengths lie and he's playing from medium to long range rather than shift Wing like close range in like dorms or like the warehouses or like I don't I don't okay, I don't really understand that thought process, but I, I mean like you know fair enough, I guess. So yeah, this is the <laughs> point where the scavs comes and he leaves and he goes to guy station. Look at this point, look at this area. Uh, I mean, he sits here in literally open for like 10 minutes so he moved he said he sat here for 10 minutes nobody well one thing he's saying like if somebody showed up over here he spawned over there he also killed one person over there so like the odds of somebody being there are fairly slim but he's also sitting here and looking there so he would see it right he came and look what he's doing next he's watching like other side yeah because look He's watching for the scav, and what is he doing bro. now? Oh, you guys rats. Look how he sees the other ah, guy. Dude, they're starting to piss me off. I don't know where they're coming from. He sees the dead scav, and then the does something. assumption that somebody might come from oh, that side, that something oh. like that. Chat, did you guys see that? Okay, whatever. Look what he does next. He, he saw the guy. Okay, let's see. let's see. He saw the guy. It's fine, right? He picks this position and sits here for another like two minutes, only aiming at the military checkpoint, right? He hears the scav walking and look at this, look at this. He 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 decides like I know that he if he goes, he goes through the hill, but why then you wish for like five minutes this area, you know? Like probably he sees him on, on like some screen, you know? Look at this. Look. It's PMC. has got to be going up here. Look yep. at this. There he is. Like, okay. This, this is guy this. literally has X-ray vision, you know. And he kills him, and he goes for a loot. So, he saw a guy behind the tower, and then waited for like multiple minutes for that guy to come into his line of sight. He's obviously a very patient player, because I wouldn't do this. I'd have fucking ran straight at the guy, but like... Yeah, like, yeah, it's it's literally him more questioning the dude's playstyle. So far, like, I mean, I haven't seen anything sus. Like, one thing was back here, he says he saw him, but I can't see Look him. There he is. He says there he is, but I I don't see... It's PMC, he's got to be going up here. Look yep. at this. There he is. Did he just see him, like, walk past here, maybe? He probably did. And then you don't see anything else. Like, okay. I don't know. And after that, there is like still six minutes left. Like on other maps, when there is a six minutes, you literally don't go like crazy. And look what he does. He literally goes, goes fucking crazy. Like without watching any single corner and pushing in a straight, you know. Dude, he's going to rough roadblock, which is like most like intensive extract. Like for a tourney, you know. And he's using like loud weapon. Hello, you know. Well, the reason why I use loud weapons in tournaments is so that people hear me shooting and come towards me, so I can get more PMC kills. And yeah, there's six minutes left, so like everybody's probably dead or left at this point. So now he's doing the standard play of backtracking through the map to kill scavs that have spawned late. 
So far, I'm not really agreeing, agreeing with any of this dude's points, um, but we'll let the video play out. We're only seven minutes in and there's 26 minutes of this all together. So I hope there's something more substantial for him to have based this whole thing on, but like... Okay, so this is a final day. This is an interchange run. Look how he approaches the angle here. He sees nothing there. Um, he does weird thing with this with the screen. He goes on the other tab. Look at this. He yeah, he's reading chat. He's a streamer. Goes at the left for a second. Then he watched again all tab something. He's doing something. He's doing something. Mod view, whatever. Discord, whatever. And look what he does next. Like, imagine you checking interchange just that by turning your head and not ADSing as, you know, as how dark it is. Dude, I haven't heard, like, any gunshots. He says he know. haven't heard any gun gunshots, right? He has no clue that somebody's, like, coming on him, you know? Like, this one's for far. He haven't heard anyone literally crabbing on him, you know? He haven't heard anyone. And look what he does. He literally sees nothing, right? He saw nothing. It's fine. It's fine. He saw nothing. Look what he does. I'm looking. He literally goes not in like between the clothes or something. He literally sits and fucking open again. And look at how is he sitting in the open here? <laughs> I, what? Like <laughs> what? How is he? How is he sitting in the open, bro? He's he's clear from the left because that's where he just came from. He doesn't have to worry about up the hall because if there was somebody there, he would have heard them. There's nobody crab walking upstairs at this point. This. Look at this. Oh, what a coincidence. Guy comes around. Like, yeah. I shot. <laughs> you know, I heard no gunshots. Maybe the guy crabbing on me. <laughs> you know. I mean, that last one, he was just playing it out slow, holding common angles that people would generally come from. He's literally just a patient player. Let's uh, keep and going. This is a uh, customs run. From, uh, on a final uh he sat in a corner he heard a nade somewhere next to the two star dorms um which is was far okay somebody's over there and he says somebody's over over there next to off. the bus station so i don't know if there's somebody across the street oh there's a scab over there so, so he says uh, there's somebody next to the bus station okay, or across over the there street at gas i mean at, at the bus station because there's a nade that went off so i don't know if there's somebody across the street oh there's a scab over there okay so it's also a very common place for PMCs to be because like people that are moving up the road, moving through the bushes, like obviously a popular spot for scavs to spawn is on that road and in the bus stop. So in a tournament setting, you're going to want to kill the scavs because killing scavs is points. He knows that somebody is across the street. I want to like to notice this. If the guy is, if you know that the guy is across the street, right? You're going to like approach it very carefully since he could be in like corner bush or something, right? And look how he approaches. He literally just walks slowly. Walks slowly, okay. Walks slowly. Kills one scav. Look, you he said somebody's across the road, right? He, nice he shot. said somebody's across the road. And look how look he's approaching. Guy. Look how he's approaching the dorms. He said somebody. Okay, well, I can explain this because I did the same thing. You walk up slowly in the first place so people can't hear you coming from the hole in the wall. He kills the scav, which he probably wasn't expecting to be there. He has to fire his gun, so now people have heard the shot, so he wants to push out and get to a different position before he gets caught in the hole in the wall. So he wants to, like, get up in the fight and probably get the kill, rather than have to fall back through construction and loop around the other way and lose the person person that he heard in all of these bushes. Is in these bushes, and look what he does. He's gonna do the same thing as he did in the lighthouse with a nade. Look at this. He said somebody is behind the street in this in these bushes. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, somebody's like camping over there in that area. Like, seriously, dude? Okay, you you have to have six cents, you know, to to do this. Okay, prepare kill. Okay, you know the guy. Why he didn't? Okay, why he didn't prepare before crossing the street? If the, he said there's a fucking guy behind the street, because he literally already hit a profile. You can see it here. Why would he pre-paint again? He's already still on painkillers. Because he knows that there's no guy. He's a far, you know? What what more evidence you need? Like, look. He's what, more, what more evidence do you need? Hey, sorry. A little bit more than that. 
Uh, holy shit. <laughs> Bro, this guy should be a fucking lawyer in the Johnny Depp case right now. <laughs> I'll do the same thing with the knight. He's gonna throw far. Oh, he's throwing a grenade over to where he thought the guy he heard was. Just to bait a guy from his like camping spot. Maybe the guy was running in the first floor and he checked, you know. Oh, he threw the nade as bait. Oh, okay, I get like, it. If he's running there and now he's going through the window or something. But look at this. Yeah, he hears the bush in front of him. Very good acting, you know. What do you mean very good acting? You heard he heard the dude in the bush while he was looping around dorms trying to find somebody camping in a bush. Now, I would say, yeah, he's cheating if he ran up and just sprayed down some random bush we couldn't see anybody in. But you can literally hear the guy. He even had his flashlight on. You could see his flashlight probably before you heard him. Let's go to the And that's it? That's the clip? What the fuck? That I'm sorry, but that last clip was a joke. The fact that that's even in this video is fucking ridiculous. Um, this is the start of the video. I'll he just spawned. Job. He came on a hill and he's watching the area. And Don't how he's watching it, it's very interesting to do, too. In how he's watching it is very interesting too. He's scouting the spawns. Right. He's Don't literally sc it. like oh, scrolling, you know? Yeah, he's literally scrolling to see if there's anybody in the distance in another spawn. This is called map knowledge. This is called knowing where other PMCs can spawn. Why? He sees the guy, he's not taking the shot. From video, it's hard to tell what helmet he has, so you can't tell if... It looked like, it looked pretty clear to me, the LS or an LZSH on, right? If the guy's the same or not. You know, he's moving from left to right. Dude, he's literally on this hill watching the central hill that everybody runs up to onto the sniper rock. And look what he does now. He literally sits in open next to the bush, which is like worst thing you can do. So. He knows the drop is here. My, people might be on that hill, might be in any bush. He's just watching with a 1x scope, like, to the, like, like, wide screen, you know? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you can see anything, do this everything, ever. right? So, yeah, he oh. goes for a drop. Don't ever do this. But look at, look at, look at this moment. He goes into literally wide open area. Here. Oh, no. I didn't know it was right there. Oh no. He acts like he watches the angles. Oh, like, oh no. Now. As I said like earlier, the guy might be over here. He doesn't. He's just whatever. He's watching the top oh, of the hill, you know? Now. And um, and look what. Look at the. Uh, at this pixel. Like I'm gonna stop it just no. to. <laughs> just to uh, notice this. It is, I didn't realize look. it was this close to me. I thought it was like on the rocks over here. I wasn't paying attention. It's gonna be soon. Because I don't give a damn about the drop. Look at this now. Okay, what is this? What is this watch? Where he's watching? He sees like there's no terrain, right? He sees the, the sky, you know? There's no point watch here. But you were literally just saying that he jumped down here straight into the open, but he actually has cover from behind him because there's very little chance anybody's going to have an angle on him from the back left. For context, the airdrops had OFZs in them, which were wor more, worth more points. Which is why he waits out the drop. Okay, well, that makes sense. Unless you hear something, but he didn't, because you can hear from his expression that he didn't. Okay, so you hear the Naden, right? You're watching the drop. the drop. And look at this, look at this. He watched already left. There's no point of turning there. And look at this. And after I'm, that, he acts sur surprised. You I'm, know? I'm, I'm looking. Look at this. Oh, Ooh. the guy came, which I saw through the wall earlier, You're you know? Kidding me. <laughs> Okay, so he loses this guy. What he does Jesus, again? Not stays in a bush. Like, it's, it's good cover to stay in that tree, no, you know, and watch the, the drop. The so he heard the guy walking up and killed him? You know, look at this. He goes back to the same spot. And literally watches the hills. Keep wa Keeps watching. Yeah, because, like, he has a suppressed gun. People that are far away aren't going to have heard his shot. Now, bear in mind, like, the RSAS is a loud gun, even when it's suppressed, but, like, at that kind of distance over to that hill, like, I don't think people would have heard the shots. So, like, he's pretty safe to sit back prone here, unless somebody was watching this direction and saw him move. And I want to, I want to mark the other pixel. Look at this. He's gonna go 1x and literally freezes. Look at this. Look at this. It's gonna be soon. This one. Freezes, and he sees the guy. So he stopped moving his mouse, and that means he's cheating. Okay, this is happening. You see? There's no way this is happening. Like right he now. was prepared to see the guy. This is obvious. 
Okay. He's... We have an objective on the map, okay? In that airdrop are items, OFZ shells, that are worth points for the tournament. He is sitting here watching it, and then this guy is acting surprised that he is holding the box and finding players. And also, that player that ran up to the airdrop there didn't check their angles. They never looked down the road. They didn't clear anything. Okay, now, look what chat, he does next. Do. Look what he's doing dumb. next. He haven't watched the right side for like 10 minutes because he was in the pit and he's not checking it. He's just going straight, not checking it. Or he checked with turning his head, you know, he's not checking it. So this is so cringe. Like, dude, you don't know. There's like five spawns all around and he cleared two people, not five, you know? Not what I wanted to do. It's not what I had in mind. Yeah. And um, yeah, he lose this. Oh. I wanted to do. And then he runs straight, like, next okay, to the main road, without, without, you know, how to say, without inspecting the area. You would go, like, through the hills, through the left side, like, you wouldn't go straight, like, next to the road, you know? I mean, if this guy was, like, constantly looking at his other monitor or something, it's like, yeah, maybe I could see, maybe he's using fucking radar, but, like, dude, from what I've seen, this guy hasn't really taken his eyes off his monitor, like, at all, other than glancing over to read chat and then like that one other clip where like he tabbed out like he might have been reading something in discord or like timing out somebody in chat or banning somebody in chat because like i, I like i do that shit all the fucking time he's acting like he's watching but you see how he's watching the angles he's just turning his head like come on dude hello you know no, but uh, I don't yeah look how he's watching the angles Dude. This is not what I want. He's yeah, look how he's looking around him to see if there's players around. Oh, how weird. Imagine looking in spots where players could be. And yeah, he's going straight. Like, okay, I want to I want to notice uh, this one. He used the pre painkiller. It's <sighs> fine. It's fine if you like, you know, if you have tons of them, it's fine, right? But he knows he's gonna run into another guy again. So look at this. Dude, he was literally already on painkillers before he hit that anyway. You can see it. You can see it up here. This is the regenerative effect from the propotol. He was literally still on painkillers. He's just topping it up. Look at this. Oh no, there's a scav on the fucking road. Oh! I I'm really not trying to flame here, but I'm like. Also kind of pissed off that you're, like, fucking wasting my time. Because this is so fucking pointless so far. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, like, I'm getting kind of annoyed that this is just kind of wasting my time. He goes for a drop, it's fine. Like, he acts like he's watching area, but why do you watch the left side if you just ran through it? Like, you knew... Dude, this guy complains when he doesn't check something. He complains when he does check something. And then he complains about other stuff that he's just randomly not doing that doesn't make sense in the context of what the guy is doing. Nobody's there. You. It feels like he's watching just to watch, you know, like just to watch for viewers or people who's watching like, oh, I'm watching this. I'm watching this. I'm playing slow. You know, he's not actually watching the, the angles. Dude, he's watching off the map now, you know. It's so weird, honestly. And yeah, he goes for another drop on the road. He sees the scav. And he's watching again right side, dude. You... Yeah, why wouldn't you be watching the right side? People can come from there. People can be up on the hill. People can be coming from the beach. Like, they, everybody saw the airdrop coming down. Of course people are going to be coming for it. Like, oh. I haven't watched it for, for like 30 minutes there. Like, why watching again now, you know? So yeah, he goes for a drop and then the center goes back. I it's fine. Look. I want to mention these words. I have any chance of this. I'm not, I need more points. I need more points. I'm not trying to get greedy. And I he's just, watching just right side now. I think I need more. Look at this. I need more. Does he says, I need more. Look at this. He he actually said, I need more. You know? Okay, Wait so he minute. goes inside. Alright, well, I guess this is it. This is the points I'm getting. I'm getting out. He's watching that side because in that side there's like four more PMCs fighting. There was a she fighting with someone and um, yeah. 
clearly you you're gonna understand what he's saying like after a second like look what he's gonna say i'm not going to that side for sure you know because there's like four three people fighting there okay so somebody's path to shoreline right now what are Somebody's path to shoreline. You know how far is path oh, to shoreline? I could wrap all the way back around. Wait, Southern Road. Isn't that where I spawned? Southern Road is where I spawned, right? Behind there. I could extract there so everybody gets that spawn. I didn't know that was a... Uh... Yeah, so he's talking here and look. like He starts moving. He sees the guys like on the left. That the, he has to know like there's four people, you know? Um, yeah, and, um, this is a pretty, you know, cra crazy gap, but, yeah, he said he needed more points, and then he said, I'm going out, and then look what he does. Look, he's gonna do right watch again. There's, like, four more people there. He's like, nah, I'm not going. Also, he watched at the left screen for a second, for into the right screen, That's where he's the never watching, right? What is going on over here? This yeah, guy is just shooting. So. He doesn't know if this no is a cottages, like hill. Yeah, he knows now that it's a cottages, mm -hmm. right? Scav might be in cottages, and the player might be also in cottages. So don't get me wrong here, but literally, like not thirty seconds ago, we heard a scav shooting an SKS around this area, and now this guy is surprised that he's moving here and that there's more gunfire here. I'm I'm failing to I'm failing to see what the issue is. Or other cottages, or the hill. But look how he approaches the hill, because he knows that there is a guy there. <laughs> yeah, look how he approaches the hill, because he knows there is a guy there. What, is he supposed to just run in? Look at this. I this don't... is nasty. Like, you watch the corner and it just go, like he, he, like he did, you know? Look look what he does. Like, why, why are you doing this slow? And look, he's scoping again. He's scoping the hill, because behind the hill was Jinji healing. Dude, seriously? And there's, like... Why he's watching into the... Yeah, look at this. Easy kill. So, yeah. Very interesting. To do. Also, look how he is... How he is... Wow. He turned... Kidding. Like, I want to mention here. Um, at this time, in the end of the raid, there is like one people or two people left on this side and other two people on this side. Like, he literally turned his, his camera to the all the rest of the players you know you saw Jinji on the hill after you walked into an area where a scav was already shooting and then this guy is surprised that you found somebody there because the scav was shooting recently like team evasion they can't do like things anything about this but they can ask a bsg like they might maybe do some kind of investigation or something because dude those few runs were so sus like like a day before when he did the customs run, he got the most points there, which secured him spot in the finals. And then the finals run where in the four raids he had 30 points and in the last run he literally did like 555 points. I mean, this could happen. It could happen like one, two times, three times. But you saw how he approached the guy on like on the ferry. He literally knew the fucking angle through the keyhole, you know. But dude, we all play Tarkov. Like imagine us in this situation. And when you're saying like, oh, you're not good player, dude, I have 6,000 hours. I have like 11 KD. This is like... You have 6,000 hours and you think all the shit that he's doing is sus? I have a good guy. I have a good... Jesus, I hope this guy doesn't watch the uh, hunt tournament that I did with Kippen. Or any of the evasion tournaments I've ever done with Kippen. This guy would have a fucking field day with us. Dude, you want to know what I saw throughout this video? I saw people that are playing for a big cash prize that want to win. People don't understand that people play very differently when there's money involved. Mandini, like no offense to you, I've never watched you play. I don't know how you play normally. But all I saw here was somebody playing patiently and just like making good reads and just like playing the map well and just like being patient rather than you know, W keying and getting shit on because you're literally playing in a server, a private server filled with other streamers that will all clap the fuck out of you if you are caught a nanometer out of position or you make one mistake, you're probably dead. I don't know. I didn't really see anything weird. Like, 
if he was cheating, you would need some seriously fucking solid evidence, okay? And this is literally straight from evasion. Clear cut, blatant proof. There is none of that here. There's no aim lock. There's no even real evidence of you using like a radar or like a wall hack. Every single thing I saw you do was either from audio cues or just playing the objective and watching people come to it when they thought it was clear and then getting free easy kills. Because BSG provides prize money for this kind of shit, they want to make sure there's nobody cheating on these accounts. Obviously, they're fucking watching it. Evasion literally conducted their own investigation after the event, didn't see any proof at all, and before any prize money is ever handed out, Evasion always review the VODs to make sure that the person who won wasn't cheating or anything sus was going on. I, I didn't see anything. I don't know. I, like, if you were to take any of the VODs of me playing in a tournament, any tournaments that I played well in, you could probably make some of the same points about me. You could probably make it look like I was really sus or like I was doing weird shit. And I'm just not seeing any of the points that this guy is making this looks like content for the sake of making content the comment like the comments are probably going to be the most fun part of this so i'm kind of down to read some comments here i know we all hate cheaters but please do not send them hate messages that was not the intent of this video that's bullshit <laughs> you knew as soon as you made this you were going to throw a bunch of hate his way uh based off uneducated players watching this and then going around and spreading hate so in all my years of fps i've never seen someone play so carefree and yet frag so hard part of what makes guys like shroud and landmark is their calculated gameplay but even they get ambushed and caught off guard now and again he anticipated any possible threat that's something i've never seen a player do before he has a fundamental lack of high level tarkov knowledge yet holds angles and looks directly where people are coming from he doesn't know about the southern extract and he's zooming in like a five hour player i entered the video with high doubt but some of these aren't good positioning it's suspicious pos positioning okay as a Tarkov streamer myself, I can tell you that I stopped playing with viewers for this very reason. People like to pretend they aren't hacking in this day and age for clout, viewers, money, or really anything. It's sad and cringe. You can tell he's a new player he's using some kind of wall hacks or something, uh, but the way he moves and the way he plays just outright obvious. The biggest indication is his movement. The fact that he runs in a straight line to loot his kills. I got 4,000 hours in this game. Everybody knows you don't jump straight on a body with his lack of knowledge of movement. Dude, I'm going to develop like a fucking... I'm going to develop a fucking tumor reading these comments. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. Anyways, that was the Mandini accusation video. I personally didn't see anything. I think that the dude who made the video owes him an apology. I was expecting something a little bit more spicy, man. Mandini, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit let down, dude. That's that. If you guys enjoyed, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a like. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my dudes.